Monkey. 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 Yeah, over. Oh, puppy. Oh, puppy. 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 Pu
You could use this to get students interested in environmental topics, something about the environment around us. You can have students write a play, a role play, that takes place in some place where you would hear these sounds. So I would then take what my students, what you have done here, and ask them to really use their imagination and then to write something for me based on these sounds. We're not going to do it now, we don't have time, but I would do that if you were my actual student. So let's go back to our board and think, given I, I've given you that writing assignment, so in, we've included that in this, so what of the different intelligences did we touch upon? Remember, visual, spatial, I've asked you to actually imagine. So, visual, spatial, yeah. Yeah. again, because you're yeah. thinking about where would these sounds come. Linguistic. Yeah. Yeah. Right, remember yeah. I'm having yeah. you write something, so yes. Yeah. You're writing something. Body kinesthetic. You have to role play. If you had a role play, like to show okay. <laughs> If you added a role play, if you want to show somebody what a given is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that would be interesting. Logical, mathematical? No. no. Probably, no. yeah, because of association. Yeah, yeah maybe, maybe I'm going to give it a little like, one. It's, no, it's, it's a bit of a stretch, but okay. A little one. What about musical? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's a lot. Mm -hmm. Interpersonal? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Maybe Think about what we did. It. Yeah, we'll discuss it. Yeah, yeah you, you compared your answers. What about intrapersonal? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. you worked individually we were first. Yeah. 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 And natural. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Absolutely. Okay. okay. So, so we've managed cool, to get then. a lot of these intelligences covered in this one activity. So we have visual, spatial, linguistic, body kinesthetics. Okay. If you encounter, if you, you know, you're creative teachers. There's lots of things you could do off of this sound thing. So you sure you could figure out a way to get it to get them to move. Logical, mathematical, a little bit. Musical, yes. Interpersonal, yes. Intrapersonal, yes. And natural, absolutely. All right, good. So, I like to do these two activities because it can really underscore, really illustrate how many of these intelligences you can hit with one activity that seems very straightforward listening or very straightforward writing, but really if you think about it, you're hitting all of these different levels and differences of intelligences in your students. Mm -hmm. So we have a little teaching and assessing through multiple intelligences activity. So I have for you a handout. We'll do it in groups. Where you have the intelligence on the left, then you have the teaching part is blank, and then we have the assessment. So how can you assess using the multiple intelligences? So your job in your group is to look at your little different teaching tools and figure out which intelligence they belong to. It will not take you long. You're a very quick group. So let's do it in groups of four. Right, actually